Well, I'm going to make a first update on this steel MS-250 wood boss. Since now I did use it, as you've seen the video of me clearing the branches out of the way. But a big old, big old trunk of a piece of tree is on the ground. So, um, that part is already dead anyway, but the rest of the pieces on the tree are still, are still good. There's no need for them to come down. But uh, I hope the storm for today, including the past few days, will not cause any more damage. If they do, if they all of them fail, I'll use the MS-291 to buck it up. And uh, I really love this saw. I was very impressed the way that thing works. But I was very impressive with it. Until that rope came out from last night and I had to fix it. Then it was a little hard job to get the recoil out, but it was easy. And uh, the air filter on these are look a little bit more different than the MS-310, which is I really like. And it's got it's got low, it's got an H for, for high speed and low for L speed, no idle speed. I think that's the way they run, run at, at idle speed, I think. I think there's an idle speed right over there. But I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not going to adjust this thing, but I'm gonna leave it as it is when I got it. But I'm leaving it as it is, but it runs fine, good. It runs good. There's no need to do work on the carburetor, but it, it's running great. And unsurprisingly, that thing hadn't leaked. It hadn't leaked any gas or oil, but it's been holding up pretty good. Pretty good. I should have went for this for this thing about three years ago in 2021, but I decided to go to the MS-291 Farm Ball. But they both are very good saws, very good machines. Well, a lot better than the uh, Poulon Pro and the uh, Chinese saws, including the... I like the clone steel saws better than the fake ones. But uh, they're okay, but some people that do like them and some people that hate them. But uh, the MS-250 runs real good. Runs like a champ. I really like it. Fires up one pull all the time. You can definitely still buy these at the local dealer, but uh, they're discontinued models. The MS-251 replaced it. And the MS-291 still runs good. But it's there's nothing wrong with the MS-291. But it is lightweight, not heavy, just like an MS-250. But these 
are one of my favorites. Favorite firewood cutters. And it's very lightweight where it doesn't jerk on you. It's very easy to handle. And the NS291 is a lot easy to handle. But uh, the MS-291 had its own scratch tool. But uh, <clears throat> I like using some other tools, which I had in the shop. Not a biggie. It's not a big deal. I think I might have to get a new chain, but I think the teeth on it are kind of almost gone. But uh, it might need some sharpening, but I might get a spare chain for it. It is a little loose, but uh, the MS-291 and the MS-250 are very good firewood saws. And I'll show you where the tree is at, where it failed. I did have a video of me cutting it up with, with that chainsaw. Which I'll never show you that in a second. But uh, it's very lightweight and I really love it. I don't think I don't want to add a 20 inch bar onto this thing at all. I think I want to keep it that way with an 18 inch on it. But the MS-250, I recommend you get one of these saws from your local dealer. I recommend getting one of these from your local dealer. I recommend these. And these fans are useful too, but they cut bigger, large trees than this one can. But I know this one can, but I think it's definitely time, almost time for a new 18-inch chain. 18 inch chain for that saw but i'm all done using it for today i'll go show you where the tree fell we may still get another severe storm after a while probably tonight Here is that tree that that part of it just came off during the storm about a few hours ago. That's why I cut off, cut the debris off the road with it. But it's kind of sad seeing that thing go, but I am going to use it for firewood when I get it out with a winch. It may be probably someday or probably next time, probably in a other day when the 
when the weather is better without rainy or wet conditions. But if I find a remote control to the winch, I might be able to use it to pull it out and buck it up for wood. But even that, I'm all done for today. But I love this I love this saw. I like it. I'm gonna keep using it. It's way a lot better than the Pull on Pull on Pro PR PR 4218. Well, anyways. Now I'm gonna go home. Put these up for tonight and wait until the next time until another another tree fails by the road. Anyways, I'll catch you on next video when I get a new chain for it someday, probably sooner. Anyways, there's the video of the MS250 Wood Boss. Thank you all for watching.